Welcome back. At the end of the previous part, I said we'd be starting this part at the city square. So let, let's, I mean, what else are we going to do? Let's have a look. Huh? Is that Gretel over there? Gretel, are you looking for something? Not at all. But it looked like you were looking around a bit. Why, yes, I was simply observing the people here. Oh, people watching. Got it. Did you find someone worth observing? <laughs> Not in particular, but each one of these people here is refreshing to watch. Much better than the ones who barged into my home. Um, is she referring to the dorm? Well, yeah. Cowards with a smidgen of hope, who succumbed to fear and in the end were engulfed in despair. Yep, it's the Junko way. There were also those who tried to kill me the moment they saw my frail figure. Did you really go through something like that? Why yes, but my brother Hansel would always help me in those instances. Hell, that means... Oh yes, he killed them. They all died. Every last one of them. Why do humans fight fate? Despite knowing their chance of victory is close to nil. That's... Look at those people there. Yeah, looks like they're arguing. <laughs> Their actions are identical to the ones who invaded my home. Humans look for reasons to maintain their lives, even if their lives serve no purpose. They cling with such tenacity. I suppose that's how they're able to live as long as they do. Why are... Yes? Why are you saying that with so much joy? Is it wrong to try and live? Do you hate humans? Let me ask you this. Why are you interpreting my words that way? I was simply praising how humans vigorously fight for life. But the way you worded it is just horrible. Jack, it seems as if you're easily swayed by your emotions. Gretel! Survival means doing anything to live, even killing someone. That's true of all living beings. Is she holding a grudge against us for killing Hansel? She still calls that area her home, too. I guess the dawn isn't her home. Owen, where are you going? Say, Jack? It seems I'm missing something critical after all. If so, what is this odd feeling I have deep inside me? Do you know what this feeling is, Jack? Who knows? Probably love. It's probably love. It's always love or friendship. There we go, we got... Yeah, just one scene. I was, I was debating whether or not we had two. See, I look on the left rather than the map, which gives away the fact there's just one card going around and around and around and around and around. So, yeah. And around. Ugh. It's been hard to look at Gretel after I ran off from our conversation like that. But I need to clear the air with her somehow. What are you doing over there, Jack? Whoa! Did you come to see me? If so, you should have gone in. I can't just go inside without your permission. Oh, I go wherever I want anytime. That's disturbing to hear. Better lock my door when I step out. I'd do that anyway. Um, Gretel, I'm sorry I left in the middle of our conversation before. Conversation? Ah, that. I thought you maybe had a stomachache? See? keep saying things to provoke others. That's why everyone misunderstands you. Shoot, I raised my voice. And you also seem to get emotional all the time. That's... I'm sorry, I suppose my comment just now came from emotion too. Huh? It's pretty unusual for her to apologize. I was thinking afterward how I lack understanding of human emotions. Well, I guess, but... But you try to understand us, which is why you're with us now. Or at least that's what I hope. I think the emotion you're looking for... ...come from a primal human curiosity. That curiosity makes you want to know and understand others. But the way you analyse things comes across as cold, which is why I oversee was uncaring. Wait, um... What was my point? Anyway, I'm sure you just want to get to know and understand others. <laughs> huh? Quite interesting. You truly are a fascinating specimen. R really? If 
Fanny, it looks like I got through to her. Wait, hold on there. What's that in your hand? Why, it's a syringe, of course. Stab. I know that. I'm asking why you pulled it out. You seem very excited. Wouldn't your increased blood flow make this the best time to draw a sample? No. I see. Well, after all I did to procure those things from Miko. Don't tell me you took more stuff from her again. <laughs> I have an interest in tools, too. And the only way to observe the value of a tool is to use it. Isn't that right? Well, sure, but... No, you're absolutely right, so then... See ya. Oh, he's in such a hurry. I wouldn't have minded conversing with him further. Well, I suppose what he said is right. But what could I do to appear less cold to others? Maybe I could send a gift. I know. I'll make some sweets. Hmm. Pudding! That sounds good. I've read a recipe already, so... It was called Nep Pudding. What is it? Nep Pudding. It's pudding for Nep. There you go. Gretel said she needed to see me, but I wonder what it's about. Gretel, I'm coming in. Well, we know what that means, maybe. I've been waiting for you. Now, hurry. See, that robotic sounding voice again, it, it just means it's in another room. Like before, we like maybe had an idea like Kaguya who had, had all these things going on with her. Maybe it was related to who she was, etc. No, it's just Echo within a room, apparently. I brought the Mary gun like you asked, but why do you need it? Maybe you should ask why she's basically in her, her underwear. Why is it blue? Wait, whoa! What is it? Why is she in her underwear and why is it blue? What's with the loud voice? Clothes! Clothes! Why aren't you wearing your clothes? Isn't it obvious? Because I took them off, of course. She has a point. That's not the point! It is the point. Oh, why are you leaving? I'm not done with you yet. Well then, at least put something on. Anything. She has clothes on. That I cannot do. It would make no sense if my intention is to have you splatter your blood on me. There you go. Yeah, yeah, my logic as well. My blood? What is this really all about? Your blood can neutralize a blood maiden's blood skelter state. I have a hypothesis on what takes place when your blood covers one. So I wish to evaluate the results. I don't think you need to do that. But unproven hypotheses essentially equate to mere imagination. No! Let me go, Gretel! Hey! Quiet in there! What's all this commotion? Yeah. What? Dear Lord, this is only going to get worse. Sorry. Um, I didn't realize you two were so close. Wait! Red Riding Hood! No, don't worry. I won't say a word, so you go back to, you know. Oh. No, it's not what you think. I got it. Got what? If she joins us, we can observe what happens when we both lick the blood off of each other. Ah, uh, moving along. M me? An excellent idea, don't you think? I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, really? Um, can I ask what you're doing? That does not fit what's happening with the CG right now. It's like, uh, by the way, could, could I inquire as to what you are doing with my top? I'm taking your clothes off. I must say, it's surprising how intricate your clothing is. It's surprising how strong you are. I should help Red Riding Hood, but... Right, but... Jack, don't just stand there. Do something! All right, all right, of course. I'll help with the shoes. Don't move. Your underwear is going to tear. Hey! If you tear my hood, I'm seriously going to kill you! Uh, I, I don't think your hood is the major issue here. I'm so sorry, Red Riding Hood. Hey! Jack! Goodbye! <laughs> uh, 
Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, yeah she, she's 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 as good as it? gone. She's gone. Right, is that it? Are we done there? Oh no, there's one in the resting area. Yawn. What time is it? Maybe I'll get something to drink before heading back to bed. Ah, a lovely cup of tea. Maybe decaffeinated because it's just before bed, so it's it's, it's the best time to have a decaffeinated one because you don't want to stay awake. You, you've got tea for different situations. That's that's important. I see. Your theory is quite interesting. We should dissect the sample to verify it. Oh, but dissection is meaningless. Isn't there a way to observe blood flow without killing it? Huh? Professor and Gretel? So are you saying you need the sample to be alive in order to acquire the proper data? Why yes, it's structured differently from humans, but mere blood clots wouldn't do as good. I feel a bit uneasy hearing the word dissect and blood clot coming from them. I suppose you're right. I'll get started right away. The professor's leaving. I guess he's going back to do more research. <sighs> Gretel? You were talking about research until this late? Why yes, research is in relation to our sample. Hold on, it was like, in relation to our sample. When you say sample, you mean, yes, the blood of a captured Martian. We were discussing its composition. I shared my theory, but it stands quite inferior to the professor's analysis and insight. <laughs> quite interesting indeed. Interesting. She's talking about the marching blood, isn't she? Gretel must be so tired. I know, wait a second. Um, if no one touched it, it should still be in the fridge. You want it? I happen to have one. That's pudding, isn't it? It says on it, Nep's pudding? The shape, the color, the aroma, that's it, all right. And just as I wanted to make some too. Yeah, I don't think it's anything else but a pudding. <laughs> it was soft of you to bother bringing me anything. Huh? Did she say that she wanted to make one? How much longer is she going to just stare at it? Finally, she took a bite. Sweet. I'm glad to see you enjoying it. Yes, but... Jack, why are you doing so much for me? Mm, because I wanted to see the expression on your face. My face? You seem to pay great attention to my face. You don't smile like that very often, do you? My smile? Yeah, it looks so natural on you. <laughs> How surprising. I didn't know I could express myself this way. How did this come about? It would be nice to always see it. She actually blushed. Because of you, my research has showed great advancement. I'd like to ask you to help me further. As my specimen, that is... Uh, stop calling me a specimen. Indeed. Right, are we done for Gretel? It feels like we're pretty much done for all the affection stuff, doesn't it? So, right. What we shall do is head out and go find out where we're meant to go. So let's start from the water side and try to go to the new area and see what awaits us there. We had a lot of affection scenes to go through. I think we're done with every character apart from one secret character that I am aware of. Alright, so where am I meant to go in here? That's the question. I don't actually see where it says I'm meant to go. Alright, so it's going to be on a different floor then. So let's read this. All right, Area 3, Station Ground. So we need to go to Area 3. So we'll go 2, 3. I think this is the right way. It's been so long. Since I came here. Stun and KO. Area 3. Right, where do we need to go in here? Ah, it's going to be all the way up there. So I'm going to make a cut now and we'll be all the way up there. There we go then. Made it all the way over here. So let's proceed. Hopefully this is the... Yeah, it is the right way. There's a bird up there. Got one eye. And there's people here. I, I mean, I know it's a station, but... Why is there people here? Like, there should be people here. Hmm, so this is where I was found. You're quite lucky to have been found this deep within the jail. 
I wonder if my mum's running around inside. You know, like rappies. Oh, it's not nice to think about. Red Riding Hood is trying to act excited, just like Haru said. Rapunzel's mummy? Red Riding Hood, you really shouldn't say something tasteless like that. I don't know, I mean, that's prevalent on her mind, really, so... Ah, oh, Vavu. Yikes. Huh? That was louder than usual. Yep, yep. That caught me off guard. I don't think I've heard anything so loud before. Jack? It seems like the jail is happy for some reason. I wonder if something good happens to the jail when the tower grows. Yeah, it does seem to be its aim at this point, doesn't it? That it wants to grow, and... Because the Marchants are trying to make it grow, and we're trying to make it grow, so it's like... No one's trying to stop that. Hmm. Yep, yep. That's an interesting thought, linking the jail's joy to potential benefits it can gain. I find it ironic that that benefits to the jail match up with the dawns. Interesting indeed. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's triple dotting. Interesting or not, it does sound too convenient that they match. Yes, yeah, exactly what I was thinking. Yes, yes. It's almost like there's something about the jail that we don't know about mixed into our, our escape plan. But why would anyone hide information from us? Ah, yes, mm, yeah. It's like, it's got to be something else going on, but why and what? And I don't know. I don't know. I've got no, no clues, really. I'm sorry, uh, I think I'm just getting too excited for my own good. I need to relax. Relax. It's okay, Red Riding Hood. We're all here, so everything will work out fine, maybe. Yep, you're right. We're all together. That's right. Be happy that I made the effort to be here, too. Not much of an effort with how you're not even walking. Good. It looks like she's a bit more relaxed now. If there's something the professor didn't tell us, I'm sure it's for good reason. Yeah, but is it a good reason for us or a good reason for him or them? Now, maybe he doesn't want to present his findings without solid evidence. True, that's quite possible. Yep, I guess. Yeah, triple dot. That said, I wonder what's really going to happen when the tower grows to its fullest. Are you saying that based on the idea that the Dawn wasn't able to anticipate certain recent events? Yeah, if the growth of the tower is making the jail happy, maybe we're doing something that we really shouldn't be doing. Hmm. Huh? Plants grow towards the sun. Same with the jail. Yeah, that's exactly like... The Order of the Sun want that, kind of, as well, don't they? Everything is pushing towards the jail growing, but... Why? Yep, everyone want to grow. Exactly, why? Yep, yep. <laughs> Looks like Michiru's habits are rubbing off on you, huh, Sleepy? Yep, yep. It's no use thinking about it now. I mean, no one really knows what this weird place is. You got that right. Let's just trust Dad and the Dawn. No, I won't. Ever. Indeed, we need more information, and this is a prime opportunity to learn about how the jail operates. I think maybe you're on a different track. Ah, <laughs> Yikes, stupid jail and its stupid noise. The jail's wailing in joy again. Whatever the situation, we need to stay focused. I better put on my headphones. Alright, let's keep our guard up and get moving. Alright, let's have a look at this new dungeon then. Could be anything inside. Like an exit. Wait, I, I, I see something odd with this wall. It's different from the rest. I wonder if that's just the area opening up. It's very weird in here. Oh no, it just seems to be a normal pattern on the wall. It's very... I don't know, it, it's very blocky, which is odd. Let's just put it like that. 
found something. Jelly supplement. Your jelly. Well, you'll have to be because there is a jelly. I'm assuming we're meant to go in there at some point. Could be epic loot. Who knows? Right, there we go. That's what I was after this. South Waterside, East Dorm. So there's nowhere else to go from here. I don't, I, you know, you know, oh, hello. Picnic basket. I'll take which care of this. does fit with Red Riding Ready. Hood. What the hell are these things? All right. Uh, we need to get rid of a bit of corruption down there Leave on Thumbelina. Thanks. No problem. Right, we need to see how I'll much XP this. we get in here. Go. And whether or not we can finish them really quickly. Yeah. Hold it. I know you can't. We got several of them. It's all up to Rappy now. You look tasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tasty, yeah. Well done, Rappy. Is everyone all right? Yeah, I suppose XP's not great compared to previous areas. It's like it's just on par, really. Like, it's like, I like that it's feel better now. It's like, that was horrible. Oh my god. Yeah, this, uh, what was that? Oh, it's a trap, but is it a werewolf? Well, that makes sense. Yeah, this is, this is, what the hell? Yikes. Why can I not go that way? Yikes. Not losing health, so let's try making time faster. I'll use my power. What's that? Okay. That's cool. Here it comes. So I've got to look out for things like that. Oh, it's just Ready. one enemy. May as well just auto battle it and just destroy it. There we go. All done. All done. More... Right, what we got? Seems as if I can turn off the propeller on and off using a switch. Well, yeah. That's not exactly telling me anything, is it? I mean, I got through it through different means. So I need to find the switch so I can get inside the room. That's pretty much it. I expected more of a puzzle there. That's disappointing. It's gonna be another one of those... Oh. Alright then. I was gonna say it's gonna be another one of those, like, things where I just wander around in loads of different rooms. And then I, I go in like Something. a... Oh, I suppose it's sort of like a locker. 23! We got number 23! Yes, yeah, it's just... It just could be lockers, couldn't it? All these. Because it's a station. Ready? All right, so we'll do 12 dash because it may turn back on. So it's probably best. I'll use my power. Look at that. There we go. Right, all the way. No, no battle Get right now. <sighs> Stay focused. No, you don't. All right, let's let's skip some animations now. Amber Red. Here I go. There we go. Is everyone all right? I suppose. Just thought like we'll get about level 55, because I'm going to make a cut at some point, obviously. And that will lead to me getting to level... Where, where am I going with this wind? Oh, it's down there, isn't it? Travelled quite far and didn't realise. I know. It's just a chest? No. Oh. It's just, just loot. Alright then. Fine. That's weird that I couldn't proceed, though. It's like, it, it didn't give me much of a clue to... The fact the wind turbine was there. Here it comes. All right, so Ready. what I'm gonna do right now is actually do I'll a cut do to the next that event. I, I think that's best. Like we've had a little look around, we see what puzzles are here that are different from the others. It's done, it's done that quite quickly. Really? You silly. I bet you will. So yeah, we'll be back in a second, probably with the next event, because there's gonna be another one. Because they haven't said uh, go off and find the core, etc., have they? So. Yeah, back in a second. Right then, we found a scene now, but I did also find this in a chest. A fancy hydraulic motor. It's, it's very, very fancy. So I'm assuming we've got another upgrade for the Mary Gun, but this time it's fancy. Mm. So, right, let's have a look at the scene. A memo? Where? What? The marcher must have dropped it. What? What does it say? It's got got to be doing with Red Riding Hood, surely. This must be about you, Red Riding Hood. All right, I just said that. But fine. Huh? The first infant was found here. Our leader said that she killed a marching with her bare hands. 
Yeah. Further research needs to be conducted, but to me, she's only a cute little baby. Indeed. It's got to be the professor, surely. From the way it's written, it sounds like the professor wrote this. Stop doing that game. Although they're going to come to the same conclusions as me, aren't they? Looks like you've been loved for a very long time, Red Riding Hood. Red Riding Hood? Sister Red, are you blushing? No, wait, but... You said the professor found you. Is that what's bothering you? Come to think of it, you mentioned it before. Well, at least that's what Dad told me. He said that I was a brave baby who smiled, even when facing a marching. So I'm sure I'm... It was a long time ago, so I bet Dad remembered things a bit differently. You're probably right. I bet the professor will say he forgot about it or something. Conveniently. Am I really saying that because I believe it, or...? Yep, I guess... I mean, Dad is pretty forgetful. Hmm. Oh, but aren't memos left behind by those who've been through the areas before? You're right. If that's the case, why didn't the professor mention that he wrote memos? So are they all the professors? Could be. Even if he's a scatterbrained, I'm quite sure he would remember that he's written memos before. Yeah, but it's... People write memos. It's not like... Like, have you ever written memos before? Yes. Why are you asking me this? Like, what? Coming from you, it's not very convincing. I refuse to be told that... That by a don't like you, Thumbie. Triple dot. But please, this isn't the time or the place to argue. That was an argument. Dad. Sister Red. Dad wouldn't... Huff, huff, lie to me. Why? Oh, fainted. Huff, huff, huff. Red Riding Hood. What's... Why is she huffing? Is she hyperventilating? Stop it, game. She's hyperventilating. Uh, we need to find a bag for her. If not, Sleeping Beauty, hold her head. Yep. Red Riding Hood, take a deep breath and breathe out slowly. Yeah, huff, huff, huff. Yes, slowly. Deep. Is she better now? Huff, huff still. It looks like she's calmed down. Yep, yep. But she looks like she's in pain. What happened to Sister Red? Hyperventilation can occur from panic or stress. You can control it with your breathing pattern. I guess you do come in handy sometimes. I read it before in a medical journal, but it's the first time I've actually seen it occur. Red Riding Hood sick? Not quite. But... Um, how about we return? What? Not that I want to slack off, it's just a reasonable suggestion based on what's happening. True, it may be best to have Red Riding Hood rest for a while. Yes, and we can't have her rest here, it's too dangerous. I guess so. Uh, you guys, I'm... Okay, nope, we're returning to base. Stop it, Sister Red. You need to rely on us too, you know. Plus, we got that upgrade for the uh, Mary Gun, so, you know, we're going back anyway. Sorry. If she can stand, then she should be able to walk slowly with a bit of support. Alright, then let's head back. Off we go. I, I, I got no control over that. Uh, what's going on here? Miko, Sister Red is... Red Riding Hood? She collapsed? What happened? Yeah. Well, fade out, fade in. I see. Well, it's a good thing Gretel knew how to handle the situation. One wrong move and it could have left severe side effects or worse. Death! I guess we still experience the same symptoms as humans, even if we are monsters. Don't be stupid. You're not monsters. You're humans just like we are. Coming from someone who's diagnosed us on a daily basis. Ah oh, yes, I diagnose and conduct research on you. It's my duty as a doctor and for everyone here. I think you may be misunderstood. Each person is different and possesses various traits. Just like... 
that person's honesty and strength or Ohime's ability to become a source of solace. That's Toa, isn't it? That's Toa at the top. Yep. We'll go with that. So that's what Miko thinks about Michiru's role. As for me, I'm acting as a doctor out of admiration for my mentor in the medical field. Miko. To be honest, I can't quite fathom why it's important to be a human. What Miko means is that we each identify ourselves based on our perceived existences with others. Yes, in indeed. I see. In any case, I think you made the right call coming back here, even if it meant the extra effort. After all, there are no real places in the jail that we can call safe. Duh. Red Riding Hood. Duh. Maybe we should call the professor here, Miko? Hmm. I'm sorry, Red Riding Hood. The professor is out right now. Doing what? Where Where does he go? We're on an important mission and the professor is away? He's in the monitor room, isn't he? I guess it can't be helped. Yes, triple dot. In any case, let her rest. Uh, you can go back to that area after you've fully recovered. When's that? I'm sorry. Yep, yep. Six days later. Oh wait, no, it's compile heart. It'll be three, won't it? It'll be three. Looks like I've just burdened everyone. Don't let it bother you. You're just trying to do too much, Sister Red. Are you fine getting up already? Yep, I feel a lot better now. I was able to get some sleep in for the past three days. Sister Red, thank goodness. What really happened to me? I never thought I'd be sick of something like that. Shock. It's shock. You hyperventilating was probably triggered by stress beyond your mental threshold. My mental threshold? She's just saying that you were holding it onto too much pain inside. Me? Are you serious? I'm not surprised. We've been through a lot. I'm sure you became overwhelmed without knowing it. Yep, yep. Ah oh, yes, we also did learn about where we Blood Maidens came from. And when you think about it, the memo, the history of the dawn, and all of it came from the professor. What? Are you saying that Dad purposely lied to everyone? Yes. Red Riding Hood. That's not what I meant to imply. I did. I just thought the professor may have remembered things wrong. He's really busy, so I wouldn't be surprised if he forgot bits of information, too. Ah, I see, you're right. I guess that's it. I'm sorry for yelling at you, Snow White. Don't worry. Snow White knows very m well how much you like the professor. Um, Red Riding Hood. What do you mean by, that's it? I've come up with a new recipe! Well, I think I got all flustered knowing that Dad didn't really tell me everything. I guess I was holding in all of my feelings like you said, Alice. I'm quite envious that you have someone you can be so attached to. You had your brother. Why not find someone like that now? What? Kaguya? I was able to overcome my problems because I found friends to whom I could entrust my life. Of course, I had never experienced having friends before, so I wasn't sure how to handle myself then. Can't believe you're actually saying that! Friends you can entrust your life to. Rapunzel is friends of everyone! Let's continue our mission. Time to get back to the station grounds. Our objective? Destroy the last core. Looks like that's the point Welcome. where I'm going to be ending the part. See. Obviously, I need to actually go upgrade the weapon. What's up? And then we'll be done. Hey there, Jack. You came to get your merry gun tuned up? I just wanted to show you something. Oh, you found something you think is going to help and it looks fancy? Yes, but it's a little different than usual. It's fancy? Wait, it said fancy. Oh, no, no, it did say elaborate, but it was fancy. I don't remember what it said. Jack gives the elaborate hydraulic motor to Haru. What the? Do you think it will help? Helm, you've got to be kidding. This stuff is damn rare. Rare? All right, hand over the merry gun. I need to get working on it pronto. It's the creepy noise. Chunk, 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 chunk. Thanks for waiting. This should really give it all the juice it needs. Thank you very much. The amount of blood that you shouldn't change, but give it a try. 
Oh, okay. All right, I just pull the trigger. Whoa! Hey, are you all right, Jack? Y yes, I'm fine. Didn't expect you to get pushed back by the propulsion. Guess it's a bit too powerful. Can I actually attack now? This is amazing, but I can't use it like this. Mm, I guess I'll add a switch to it so that you can adjust the propulsion. Even if he does add a switch, I'm not sure it's going to help much. What's up? Well, I guess we'll find. Oh, hello. I assume that means I've upgraded the weapon fully then. I assume that. I don't know. But we'll find out in the next part what that actually does when we're probably at the core and fighting the Guardian. So, we'll see you then. Ta-da for now.